Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're excited today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, is probably my favorite um, electric guitarist of all time. Certainly, my upbringing was Stevie, Eddie, Jimmy uh, on the electric side. Then when it got heavier, you know, it got heavier. When it got bluegrassier, it got bluegrassier. But let's go with a good uh, seven to ten year period. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eddie Van Halen, and... Uh, Jimi Hendrix were really, really um, what I considered to be um, the best of the best, the Holy Grail, the top of the mountain, uh, you know, with the goal being the channel wide open, playing completely, completely by intuition, you're not thinking through any of it, and sounding completely distinctly you, right? Everybody borrows from people but you put your own touch on it. You can tell immediately, within one note, it's that person. Now, my good buddy, Anthony Stauffer from Texas Blues Alley, just came out with this new channel called, well, let's not get it wrong here, Vintage Blues in 4K, where basically he's remastering, for lack of a better term, all these old crappy VHS tapes that we all know and love and making them in 4K. So, I have been waiting to do a Stevie Ray Vaughan tune for a while here, and I've had hundreds of requests, hundreds of requests, and I'm going to do, just because it's dealer's choice, every now and again I'd like to pick one, Ain't Gonna Give Up On Love from American Caravan. And what, Caravan, what year is this? Uh, doesn't say, but look, he goes... Source taken from DVD, which is probably recorded from VHF, cleaned up in FCPX. He goes into all the detail, upscale to 4K with an AI enhancer, finished with Gorilla Grain and FCP. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what any of that means. All I know is the link's in the description. Subscribe to him. Um, he's awesome. Here we go. I'm pumped. I'm so ready for Stevie in my life. After just doing Hendrix on Saturday... Is this the set opener? Yeah, look at him strut across the stage. Yeah! See, that's what I'm talking about. The first note, you know. I'm gonna watch this intro again. It's little things, it's just like, this is like the intros in football, right? This is the, this is the hype, this is, this is, you're waiting for you're waiting for the first thing, right? Right for it to start, and just that one note that uh, A flat. I'm sure he's tuned down, so he's doing it in A fifth position. Right away, you're like Steve Ray Vaughan. Look at that hat. Yeah, show him your teeth. I say it to my kids all the time. Show him your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, this looks, Anthony, this looks, sounds great. I gotta go back. I, I'm gonna try not to start a stop a lot in this video, but there's so much to love. I love that the Strat is just hissing at him. Right before he goes into it, you just hear the, you hear the hum of the single coils, and then he just digs right in, 10 out of 10 force, coming in right on that nine, starting on the turnaround on the five. Right? Just love it. Listen. <sighs> yeah. Um. 
Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be a blues, it's gonna be a blues in A flat. Looks like A, because he's tuned down to E flat. So, you got A flat, D flat, E flat, all seven, right? So it comes in with that. What is this note? This is Stevie 101, right? This is the nine. What is the nine? The nine is the fifth of your five chord. Forever, forever remember that. That's why that sells the five. That is the fifth of your five chord. Look at your five chord. What do you got here? Shocker. There it is. That's why it works. So many things to talk about. So basically your A flat minor pentatonic. It's all about vibe and control. When he's bending from the four to the five, sliding it, and the minor third. When he goes to the four, you'll see him do that move a lot. That connects that just like the five that, when he goes to the four, he'll do it. Same thing. Because what is your root in a blues? Yeah, it's the root of your one, but what else is it? Fifth of your four chord. Four. Right, sorry, four. Root, right. Here's your, here's your root of your four. Fifth of your four. So that move. Stevie 101. And then when he goes up. That Albert King box, right? Push through the four. Flat three. Root. Flat seven, five. Right, let's keep going. So much control. Again, Albert King. Albert King. Starting here, bending up with your minor third. Get up to the major third. Get into your box with the four, and when you get in there, let your finger roll over, grab the second string. So it's just, it's just, it, it just keeps ascending. It just keeps getting dirtier. By the way, so he's connecting this shape. That um, A flat minor pattern four to five here. Then into pattern one. Same thing that that. That root. Hammering home. Sorry, I gotta put it in camera. That two. The nine, which is again, fifth of your five chord, right? Always selling it. He chooses to sell his chord changes generally one note at a time adds a great deal of emphasis, right? Makes it very clear, like, something's different. I'm telling you, those, those, uh, that, Hammer onto the, ma the major third from the minor, right? Walk up to the five, skip the four string and go, right? To grab the flat seven and the two of, of and the fifth of your five chord, 
which is of course the four and the two in your tonic center, right? So. I, I, I could I could go through it forever, forever. But I won't. I ain't gonna give up on love. Love you hear that? Ain't gonna give up on me. See, it's everywhere. What is that? Right? Flat seven and fifth of your four chord, right? I ain't gonna give up on love. Love ain't gone. Just ain't gonna give up on me. Yeah, and so again, you can always do a little horn part and come up and come back down, right? Right? Does he does he get the major third there? He doesn't do that, does he? Yeah, I mean, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's a major third in your key center. But you're just thinking like a horn. Going up, so you're trying to get back this little dyad to sell out that five chord. Yeah. Of course it's a major third. What am I thinking? Every tear that I cry. Obviously I don't play with blues. Only washed away the fear inside and I Tune on the fly. And again, he's always bending through that fourth, that going through the four, right? This, again, you're thinking a nine chord, right? So what is this? D flat nine. This, the fifth and your root of your one chord are the fifth and the nine of your four chord. So you can always and you're getting that four. Pounds with joy. Love not in vain. And no loads of painful memories. Won't let brought me to my knees. Cause I was giving up my own love. Look at here. Little John, I'm to the floor. To the sun. Walk it up to the one. Oh, so long ago. Do it again. What about the midnight crying out? Whoa, 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 let you the line up. My, one of my favorite things about Stevie Ray Vaughan, tell me if you feel the same way, if you've noticed this, is what his hands do, what his body does 
when he's not playing the guitar, when he's just singing, he shakes with the same vibrato, right? This is the same hand movements when his voice is doing the work versus when the strings are doing the work. It is one wide open channel. It is the, it is the goal of all of us to play with that level of just no restrictions. It is just the gates are open, you know? And it is so visceral in just the way that you, you see his hands doing it. Like he is, there is no separation between him and the music. And the guitar is just as much a voice as his voice. He spent so much time with it. It is indiscernible. It is emotionally, the, the limbic system is connected equally. So many cool things happen there, but let's go back. I love that he totally, totally is into the razor blade, ice pick, rip your face off tone of the bridge pickup on the Strat and doing it with only upstrokes, just ripping, just sh shredding eyeballs in the back of the room, right? Amazing. Then he does it for a shade then switches all the way back to the neck pickup, and what's he do? He moves his whole hand down to the bridge to get that. So he's so he's here doing the right ice picky, all the way up. Well, that happens sometimes. All the way up to the bridge, and then he comes down here, and he's that. Right? I mean, watch it. Yeah, man, bring it up. So let me show you what's going on there. So here you go. F sharp. I'm oh, sorry. A flat. But again, looks like A in there, right? So you got your coming in here. It's all just pieces of the pentatonic, little pieces of the chord. So you're coming in with the fifth and the flat seven. Moving over to the root and the minor third. Then it looks like he does the go into the root and the fifth. You're just connecting. Connecting all the little chord shapes that are just in the scale. 
And he's doing it different every night. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's the same. <laughs> Fix the tuning. Gotta love the old strats, right? Doing it live. Where's that five? What a good band. I still ain't gonna give up on love. No matter what you say I do. You see, you can see it with this new uh, footage clearly. See how he's breathing with the notes as if he's singing it. Remember when I said like the hands are shaking as he's singing it? The opposite's also true. I'm telling you, the connection is um, is uh, <laughs> complete, you know? His emotional, like the limbic, you know, I don't even know if that's the right system, but like that whole thing, right? It's all connected. I mean, watch him. I mean, he's doing it. And this has got to be the Years where he's blown out and, and, and hammered drunk. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't look so hot here. He's sweating his face off with the set opener. Um, but I love that he is just in it. This is his world. This is where he's in control. And this is where he gets to be who he is. And it's just, it's one thing. It's him, the look, the guitar, the voice, all of it. It is, it is one specific thing. Thing. It is it is the top of the mountain. Ooh. Love this. I ain't about to give up on love. No matter what you say or do. Definitely need a new guitar after that. Hand it off. Dude, Anthony, great job doing this. Again, guys, subscribe to Anthony's channel. He's going to be doing a bunch of these. He keeps posting stuff on Instagram, showing all the stacks of DVDs and VHSs, and he's like, my life, my life is over. <laughs> but uh, no, brother, I love you, man. I hope you're doing well up there in Pennsylvania. It's Stevie Ray Vaughan, man. It's, it's got to be so unbelievably exhausting to have your entire performance you putting every ounce of your heart and soul out there to the world, night after night, driving around, flying, treating yourself like trash, you know, eating terribly, you know, drinking, doing drugs, um, and just have your guitar like is the anchor. You know, your guitar is the is your home base. You know, that's the rock. You know, that keeps you going. That keeps it all makes sense. And that's how. You get that connection where the conduit, the floodgates, the channel is just open and completely connected between an instrument and your instrument and your inner ear. And it's every time I watch him, that's just all I keep thinking about, about how, you know, so few of us get to that place. And he seemed to live there. Anyhow, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If you like the way I play, you like the way I teach, or you just want to support this channel, I hope you'll consider clicking the first link in the description. 
joining me over at guitargate.com. It's got all my West lessons, all my courses, and you get uh, priority react requests. I pick one to two a week from my website just to do for this YouTube channel, and I'll give you a shout out. Cheers. See you next time.